I went ahead to break a story, I think two days back, about Aaron Anselmino coming in through from Argentina. He plays for Boca Juniors and Man United are really tracking this youngster. And guess what? The transfer race has gone ahead to heat up and I don't know whether Man United will have enough nerves to obviously win it because the two teams that have gone ahead to enter this race are really having a very huge reputation when it comes to signing players from south america amadi diallo has been really hailed and we are going to see what has going to hit to be said about him and andrew nana has finally going to hit to reveal another goalkeeper that has going to hate obviously motivate him on how he should become a world class keeper welcome to the united matters channel it's a th sorry it's a wednesday i hope you guys are really having fun international break is done players return to their respective clubs to obviously start training you understand for example uh, kobe maini uganacho linderov bruno fernandez diego dalo um who else rasmus hoyland ericsson um who else was in the mix sofian hamrabat and very many others have gone ahead to take part into the international break and they're returning to the club of man united and we just can't wait to see these players join the club of Man United to obviously start the training session to prepare for the game of Brentford. Now, we are glad in that we only got one injury and that is Harry Maguire in a department that we've gone ahead to see Lisandro Martinez return from injury. I think that's really a very huge positive for the club of Man United and I would love to obviously let you know that stuff always happens like that. <clears throat> that is it stuff always happens like that and it never really comes to an end but i think this time around if at all harry Maguire is injured and lisandro martinez is returning that's a very very huge boost let's see close to 300 likes smash this video as we talk the 18 year old Argentine who plays for Boca Juniors. The Muslims, Ramadan Karim, and the Christians, we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And as you know, Man United, Ineos especially, is trying to obviously talk to players in Southern America to, to talk to the um, the entrage of Aaron um, and Zerimino to see to that they convince him to join the club of Man United. In most cases, in deals like this, the player is the one that really decides because what the club does is that they sell these players cheaply according to the amount of money we buy defenders if you know if you look at the back line of man united and the amount of money you're gonna have to pay off to really buy the players you can really understand that this guy is really a cheaper option for example linderoff i think was like for 40 i think 35 to 40 million euros harry Maguire close to 100 million euros mm. the run like 33 million euros then um john evans was free lisandro martin is close to 50 million pounds so <clears throat> when you look at that central those central defenders of man united they've gonna hate to cost us a lot of money and if at all you've gonna hate to find out a player who is just 18 million pounds then that is really an absolute steal you really get him in and see how he obviously prospers to become one of the best players and having gone ahead to confirm our interest in this player dario ole has confirmed to us that man united and ac milan have both made advances in the last few hours to try and sign boca junior center back that is aaron anselmino it's possible that both sides make a concrete offer <coughs> soon so a concrete offer for Anselino for Anselmino is coming in through and we all know I think it's 18 million euros that is others are saying 18 million pounds others are saying 15 million pounds but I think the region between it's the region of 15 to 18 million pounds for this 18 year old very very decent center back and he's really very much high rated in there for you now <coughs> I would have gone ahead to fear a similar way back because way back in the early 90s, early 2000s, AC Milan, who was really one of those teams, or Italian Serie A, really had a very, they had an upper hand when it comes to signing players coming in from South America because they were really having so, very many stars from South America that was really known. You know, the likes of Cafu, Kaka, uh, Ronaldo Dalima, 
name all the superstars you know zanetis of this world the adrianos most of the superstars by the way from south america made their careers sound to the public when they were in the italian Serie A. so after that they really had an upper hand over any other team that would have gone ahead to coming through to do the needful but i've gone ahead to understand that however much that was the case it never it never stays the same because every after 10 20 years things change now players admire to come to the premier league and i think that man united has one of the best defenders in the world right now alessandro martinez that can be used to obviously talk to this guy and tell him please come to man united i know in one or two seasons you will be playing with me but the only fear i'm really having over ac milan is to go ahead and retell the lad that you are gonna come in through to start playing football into the game of AC, into the team of AC Milan, and it's like they are willing to partner him with Tomori. That is the hugest. That is my hugest worry and fear about this deal and this attack coming in through from uh, the attack coming in through from uh, AC Milan. But when it comes to money, I think we have the money to sign this guy. Uh, we have the money to see to it that he comes in through and really becomes a home best a homegrown player because if a player makes his debut before the age of 21 he's being regarded as a homegrown player and i think when they bring him in united has a culture of ushering those players into the academy first like they did to Ahmad diallo and then after they brought him into the first team so it might be one of those moments that we are waiting to see <coughs> but i don't see a similar really coming in through to beat us on this deal if at all they do then in yours will be to blame because this is a deal that sees a player come to a club that is really one of the best in the world and you're willing to loan him out to a club of his interest that is man united for the next two years will hone you and see how his performances are going to be doing arsenal did this on William Saliba. They brought him in. After bringing him in, um, they followed him to, I think, to Lille. Then the next year, they took him to Marseille. Two years after he served those two loans, he became one of the best defenders in the world right now. And I think every team would love to be having a William Saliba. So, I think for Salimino, it's all about him to come out and really make a decision on whether he's willing to obviously come in through at the club of man united hall ac milan but my fear is coming in from this other team it's really very very fiery very fearful that it has gonna hate to join the rest and this has gonna hit obviously um threaten me a little bit and i'm really shaking a little bit because they've gonna hate to to turn into signing players when they are still young it's planet boca juniors because the guy plays for boca juniors they've told us that real madrid are closely following boca juniors center back that is aaron Anselmino, linked with man united and would be willing to pay his 15.8 million pound release clause in there for you that is martin costa via the planet boca so when you hear that and your support of man united what comes into your mind <clears throat> what springs into your mind when real madrid comes in for a south american player where they're really having very many south americans doing the job at their club militao one vinicius jr two valvadi four rodrigo five mm, vinicius jr six um there is also um Hendrik has been signed to come in through and really come in through and get the job done and dusted. So that is how fearful it is because if you are to send players to really talk to this player to convince him, United has Lisandro Martinez, Casemiro, and Anthony, you know. But Real Madrid have very many Brazilians, and that might help us all act out as one of the blessings in disguises that you'll ever see because the player might be not willing to listen from brazilians he might be willing to listen to his fellow countrymen that is lisandro martinez and i think this is where we should use lisandro martinez to come in through and obviously get into this because this deal should be made early enough we've gone ahead to make several mistakes with when we, we, we fail to sign players when they are still young and really learn them out on harland aaron ramsey <coughs> 
Judy Bellingham, um, Enzo Fernandez, mm, Julian Alvarez, you know, and very many others that we haven't gone ahead, obviously, hint on. Martinelli came in through the trials and we said he's not really good enough. So that is Man United for you. And all you have to do is we should see this deal get over the line. If we start making such deals, that means Ineos will be really so much interested in bringing in <coughs> young talents. I see no reason as to why you should go ahead and really bring in grown, grown players. Yet, look at him like Arsenal. They decided not to go in for old players. And when you look, ever since Ateta came in through, I think the eldest player Ateta has ever gone ahead to sign is Jorginho. But Jorginho came in through as a player known for the future. You understand? But 99% of the players that has gone ahead to sign have been below 25 years of age. Jesus came in through when he's 25, Zinchenko was 25, Julian Timber is like 21, 22, uh, Ben White was like 23, um, Saliba, look at Thomas Partey, I think Thomas Partey came in through when he's like 24, 25, mm, Jakub Kivio is 21, 22, I think even Trossard came in through when he's 27, but all those are just those other prawns you know, pawns that you need on the chessboard. They're not so much pivotal. And when you look at the likes of Odegaard, who have just gone ahead to make 25, you understand that the game of football can really welcome these youngsters and whatever bring these youngsters and get them time under a very good manager who is really very competent. These players can take us places. And I think it's really a very good decision made by the side of Manchester United to really have players like this. So let's wait and see how that happens. But Real Madrid coming in here, it's really worrying because they've gone ahead to start signing these youngsters from Brazil early, like they did onto this other guy, Enric, who went ahead to score his second goal yesterday for the Brazilian national team against Spain. So Enric was signed at the age of, I think was, was he 15, 16? Yeah. I think it was 16 years of age and they paid 65 million euros. So for this guy, if at all is good enough, Real Madrid can really offer that amount of money and see how they really get him in and see whether they do the need for it. Last season, last summer, they brought in Adagula, you know, from Turkey. And Barcelona was like, we are going to sign you and you're going to bring you to Barcelona next season. He said, no, Real Madrid came to him for us. We are taking you right here. And you're going to really get you into the first team of Real Madrid. And the player said, all right, let me go. So... We need to know exactly how this is supposed to be done, but kudos to Mal Beradha, Saji Mrakliff, Juan Cloud, um, and uh, David Bresfold, if I thought they are really doing these deals and really negotiating them, because <coughs> these players are what we need for the future. Amadi Diallo has come out and said, no, and the meeting started working. He has a channel known as United We Stand since 89 you know he's also on the athletic sometimes on the sky for for two he really has lots of things but he's really a very very huge fan of man united and this is what he had to say ahmad is a popular member of the man united squad polite and respected for his potentiality and talent for working hard and training fantastically he listens to coaches about where he needs to improve his game and then implements their advice so this is what makes Ahmad Diallo special. And for any player that is going to be great in the world, first things first, discipline. Discipline makes you or really breaks you. When you look at Ahmad Diallo, if I thought he was an indisciplined player, I would have gone ahead to let the manager and know that, please. I was having a chance to go ahead and really play <coughs> on loan in one of the Premier League teams, but you really blocked me. But you're not getting me again. You're not getting me enough game time. You know, yet you promised me that I should stay and you get me enough playing time. That is a mad dialo for you. So it shows you that his discipline is really high, and Ten Hag has gone ahead to like that about him. And by the way, sometimes Eric Ten Hag does that to test the ego of the player. How patient are you gonna be? Patient pains but pays. And for Ahmad Diallo, when he came in through or the game of Liverpool, he really showed us the quality that he's really good at. Though, unfortunately, the game of Brentford, he's not going to be part because he got a red card. But him being a lovable player <coughs> is really important. One of the reasons as to why I think our season has been on and off is because we've gone ahead to lack our two fronts working out. We started on the season when only the left flank was really very productive. And yet the end products were really 
what, sorry, what, um, we are still lacking. But ever since the manager got ahead to put Ganacho onto the right and Rashford onto the left, I've gone ahead to say to it that we can now threaten any team. And that's why I tell you that we are here to really go ahead and really stop every team if at all our first 11 is in. And we haven't gone ahead to lose a game of football when that tree of Rasmus Hoyland, Ganacho, and Rashford has gone ahead to start. But for Ahmad Diallo, I know he'll command a lot of authority when it comes to starting games this season. That goal is scored against Liverpool just puts him ahead of every, uh, every other player. Even though others come in and start, but this guy's gonna have to score an important goal, at least it guarantees him to get in like 20, 30 minutes on a game, on a regular. And if at all for the next three, four games, it gets like 30 minutes or 20, I trust him on obviously turning around things. And when he turns around things, I know what he can do as a player. He can really do the needful and put in a lot of, um, a lot of effort. You know, his skill set, runs off the ball as I did in the first video when I talked about the future of Man United, uh, Ganacho, Ahmad and Kobe Menu. This guy makes some good runs. His skill set is really great. He's unselfish. And I think he's one of those players that uh, will release the number nine of United. And the day he really gets a very good connection with Rasmus Hoyland, Hoyland will be fed in left, right and center. So that is all about Ahmad D. Hello, and let's close it off with Andri Onana. Andri Onana has come out and said the following. That on the goalkeeper who has inspired him the most, he said, that is a very good question because being a goalkeeper and especially trying to be a modern goalkeeper, you have to look to a lot of goalkeepers. If I had to choose one who made me think different, I would say Manuel Neuer. Why? Because of his way, the way he plays. At the World Cup in 2014, I remember when he won in Brazil. I remember when they won in Brazil. When I was watching the World, that World Cup, I found someone I wanted to look like. He made me think. So, obviously, he's the epitome of goalkeeping, especially stripper goalkeeping, playing, um, playing from the back, you know. He's a very talented player, even though these other goalkeepers were really dominating the game of football way back. Him, Ika Casillas, and Edwin van der Sar were really some of the goalkeepers that used to really play from the back and be some good sweeper goalkeepers. And that really shows you how good he is getting and becoming there for you. So, Andrew Onana recently has gone ahead to pick up his form, eight clean sheets, you know, with just one behind um david raya for arsenal and that is really one of those moments that you'll ever want to stop and see to it that he wins this golden glove by the one of my one of my wishes are this guy to win a golden glove because ever since what i had to really get a very bad game they would have gone ahead to say how does man united release a goalkeeper who went ahead to keep a clear who went ahead to win a golden glove now i want him to win it i want him to win it such that that is also narrified out of the comparisons and see to it that all right even the player gonna hate to say to it that he's really having problems has gonna hate to keep to win it also in his first season at the club of man united so for manuel nuya five finger salute we all salute him because of how he plays and he's a very good shortstop and i think if at all he's really epitomizing the guy then that he's really great so your thoughts on to anselimin anselimino ansele anselem Anselmino, I welcome in the comment section below. Anselmino, I think it's Anselmino, you know, the transfer race heating up. Do you think we can win this transfer race? You know, all the team is going to come in through and really hijack this youngster and we are going to be having and giving lots of excuses as a club of Man United. Ahmad Diallo, obviously, doing the for the club of Man United and he commands the best discipline almost in the team. And lastly, what do you make about and Rionana coming out and pointing out to Manuel Nuya as one of those people that have gone ahead to obviously inspire him to play like how he's playing in the goalkeeping department. May the living to God bless you abundantly. The Muslims, Ramadan Mubarak, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that he do upload in here on a daily. Rokan David is my name and may the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David remains my name. I sign out for now. 
see you later and i cover you all in the precious blood of jesus christ let's see close to 17,000 subscribers hit today before we obviously go to bed i'm out